If you are struggling with cylindrical joints, then you should watch this tutorial. Here I will show you two ways to create cylindrical joint. First, manual way for any modeling artist. Second, Blender default add-on for Blender users. Here also you need to play with the topology for better results. So let's start. To create design, you need to add a cylinder with the 16 words. Then you need to rotate the cylinder into 90 degree and scale it along the X axis. Press Ctrl A and apply scale. Now go to the edit mode, add few loop cuts like this. Now you need to add one more cylinder with the 16 words. Move the cylinder along the Z axis. Scale down the cylinder with the 0.1 factor, little bit. After that, you need to select both the cylinders and use the boolean operation union. Then you can apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now you need to create the right topology. For that, you can select everything and then take the symmetry. Before taking symmetry, you can apply the rotation so it will be more easier for you. Select everything and then take symmetry. Take the symmetry along the X axis, turn on the X-ray mode and delete one half of the model. Now repeat the same thing with the Y axis. Select everything, take the symmetry along the Y axis and delete another half of the model. Now here you need to create loop structure around that joint. To create that loop structure, you can select words and right click connect vertex pair. Here you need to select words and use the merge at last. You need to maintain that vertical cylindrical form. Then you can use the knife tool at here and create a loop structure with this knife tool, like this. This loop structure will help to maintain the form of that cylinder. Then dissolve that edge. Then here also you can select these words and merge them, like this. Then you can adjust the position of the words to get that proper circular loop structure. Then you can dissolve this edge loop and you can add new edge loop at there to avoid triangles. After that you can add the mirror modifier and take the mirror along the x and y axis. Then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier and shade smooth it. And you can see the result at here. We are getting decent looking joint, we are getting proper topology and the shading is also good. You can use this simple way to create cylindrical joint. And you can use this way in any modeling software. Now jump to the next way which is for Blender users. You need to turn on the extra mesh add-on which is built in in Blender. After that press Shift A mesh and add a pipe joint. You can go with the T joint. And here I will go with the 16 divisions. You can play with the parameters to get different kind of joint. Then rotate it into the 90 degree. And then add a bunch of loop cuts like this. Here you can select this edge loop and you can add bevel on them in this way to create that loop structure. But this is not going to give you the right results at there. It's okay but if you want more good results then there is one trick. You can see we are getting little pinching at there. To avoid that we need to use that trick. And this is more faster way to create this kind of joint. To improve this design you need to use your knife tool and you need to create this kind of cut. Then you can select these edges and Ctrl X to dissolve them. After that you need to create loop structure with the help of knife tool. Like this. Then you can hit the Ctrl 2 and add the subd modifier. You can see the smoothness, you can see the topology which looks really well. So this is the second way which is more faster. With these two ways you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye to the next video. Take care.